Hello guys, my name is Javi Dan. Today, I will show you how to transfer files from your Windows sandbox to your PC back and forth. So here, we, are we have an example file right here, a Windows sandbox file. My Windows sandbox dot WSB. That's a Windows sandbox file right there. Now, if we run this, <coughs> you'll see that right off the bat in this version there is a folder already made on the desktop so if you put anything on this folder this folder itself was located in windows sandbox it was located on my c drive as you can see here c drive now if I put uh, if I put my shortcut like here through here and I start it and I start this file again I will see the shortcut on the folder as you can see here the folder itself is fear it's filled right here this is the shortcut now how do I do this it's pretty it's pretty simple actually now what you are about to do itself is if you haven't enable enable some setting you have to this settings works with Windows 10 and Windows 11 provided provided that you have Windows 10 version I mean Windows 10 built 2004 and newer as you can see search Turn Windows features are on and off. And we are going to scroll down and search Windows Sandbox. There we go. Now I already turned this off. I already turned this on. Windows Sandbox. But again, if you haven't turned this thing on, and after that, we'll go look for a feature. After it already find. I mean, it were already found a required feature on your PC. It will restart. It will restart it for you, or in this case, reboot. After that, create a new folder on your C drive. Remember, always create a new folder on your C drive, or else it won't work. Here, as you can see here, this is the folder we are going to use. This as an example, Windows underscore sandbox now go to your notepad and type the code as you can see here type notepad on your windows run dialog box you can access the windows run dialog box the thing that we just use by pressing your windows button and your r bar button right there now as you can see this is the code right here now since that the folder we have created are read only and it's true you can only I mean the window your window second box itself can only view the thing it can only read therefore it acts like you know some kind of an email now this is the directory to your created folder on your C drive make sure to type it correctly now maybe there is a way to not only not only make your Windows sandbox read the folder but can also write but I don't know I don't know if there is please comment down below it will be very helpful after that you save the file okay you save the file as dot WSB as you can see here name it whatever you want win box dot WSB put it on your desktop so you can easy easily access it later now select all files okay 
save as type of files and type save now as you can see here it is the newly created file I'm not going to run this again I already have one but after you created that double click it and it should give you this result now depending on your folder name mine itself is windows underscore sandbox but if your folder name is for example my window sandbox then it will say my window sandbox now this is the result as you can see here but yeah that's it if you like this video please subscribe and like and comment thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye